Green head ants, belonging to the genus Rhytodopinera, are a diverse group of small to medium-sized ants found primarily in Australia and some parts of Southeast Asia. Known for their striking green-colored heads, these ants are an integral part of many ecosystems, playing crucial roles in seed dispersal, soil aeration, and regulating insect populations. In this comprehensive video, we will delve into the world of greenhead ants, examining their taxonomy, anatomy, life cycle, social organization, foraging behavior, ecological interactions, and their importance within their respective habitats. So please watch the complete video, and if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's start today's video. The genus Rhytodopinera is a part of the subfamily Panerini, within the family Formicidae, commonly known as the ant family. The ants in this genus are distinguished by their distinctive green or greenish-blue colored heads, which give them their common name, green head ants. There are numerous species within the Rhytodopinera genus, and taxonomists continue to discover and study new ones regularly. Greenhead ants are predominantly found in Australia, inhabiting various ecosystems ranging from rainforests and woodlands to arid regions. Additionally, a few species are known to occur in Southeast Asia. Their wide distribution across diverse environments highlights their ecological versatility and adaptability. Anatomy and Morphology Adult ants have three body segments, head, thorax, and abdomen. Their head houses a pair of large compound eyes, sensory antennae, and powerful mandibles used for foraging, defense, and other activities. Each thoracic segment bears a pair of legs, allowing the ants to move efficiently across the ground and other surfaces. The metathorax often has a unique dorsal spine, which is characteristic of the Rhytodopinera genus. Green head ants' abdomen contains vital organs, including the heart, digestive system, and reproductive organs. The size differences are particularly evident in the reproductive caste, where queens tend to be larger than the workers. Life cycle. The life cycle of green head ants is similar to that of most ant species, comprising four main stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The entire colony is responsible for nurturing and protecting the brood until they reach adulthood. Egg stage. After the mating flight, the fertilized queen lays eggs, which are small, oval-shaped, and typically white. The eggs are usually laid in hidden locations within the nest to protect them from external threats. Larval stage. The eggs hatch into legless, grub-like larvae. The larvae are cared for and fed by worker ants and undergo several molts as they grow. They serve as the primary consumers within the colony, benefiting from the workers' regurgitated food. Pupal stage. Once the larvae have matured, they enter the pupal stage. Pupae are usually enclosed in a cocoon-like structure within the nest. Adult stage. The fully developed ants emerge from their pupal cocoons as adults. The majority of the colony consists of sterile female worker ants responsible for various tasks, such as foraging, nest maintenance, and caring for the brood. Additionally, the colony will have one or more reproductive queens, and male ants, whose primary purpose is to mate and ensure the continuation of the colony. Social Organization and Castes Greenhead ants, like many other ant species, exhibit a complex social organization based on castes. The primary castes in a typical greenhead ant colony are Queen The queen is the central figure in the colony. She is responsible for laying eggs, ensuring the colony's growth, and maintaining its cohesion. In some cases, there may be multiple queens in a single colony, particularly in larger and more mature colonies. 
Workers. The majority of the ants within a colony are workers. They are sterile females responsible for various tasks, s, such as foraging, brood care, nest building, and defense. Workers are divided into different subcastes, depending on the tasks they specialize in, such as foragers, nurses, and soldiers. Males, male ants, also known as drones, have the primary purpose of mating with queens from other colonies during nuptial flight. After mating, males die, and their role in the colony's survival ends. Foraging Behavior Greenhead ants are efficient foragers, employing a combination of strategies to locate and gather food resources for the colony. Their foraging behavior is influenced by factors such as the availability of food, environmental conditions, and the colony's needs. Trail Following Greenhead ants are known for their ability to lay chemical trails, or pheromone trails, which guide other workers to a discovered food source. As they forage, they leave a scent trail from the food back to the nest, allowing other workers to follow it precisely. Scouting Some worker ants serve as scouts, exploring the surrounding area in search of new food sources. They are also known to engage in predation, capturing and preying upon small insects and arthropods. Seed Dispersal Greenhead ants are important seed dispersers in many Australian ecosystems. Some ant species in the Rhytidopinera genus collect seeds from plants and carry them back to their nests. The seeds that are not consumed eventually germinate, contributing to the dispersion and establishment of new plants. Ecological Interactions Greenhead ants play significant roles in the ecosystems they inhabit and interact with various organisms, both positively and negatively. Understanding these interactions is essential for comprehending their overall impact on the environment. Seed dispersal and plant propagation. As mentioned earlier, greenhead ants are crucial for seed dispersal. By carrying and burying seeds, they contribute to the distribution and establishment of plant species, which, in turn, helps maintain the biodiversity and stability of the ecosystem. Predation on insects. Greenhead ants are predators, preying on other insects and arthropods. This predation helps regulate insect populations and can have a cascading effect on the entire ecosystem. Controlling the populations of potential pests can benefit plants and other organisms within the ecosystem. Competition with other ant species. In ecosystems where multiple ant species coexist, there may be competition for resources such as food and nesting sites. Greenhead ants may compete with other ant species for these resources, and the outcome can impact the distribution and abundance of different ant populations. I hope so now you will understand greenhead ants. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.